Hi, Deb here. We're inside a trail light motorhome and today we're going to run through the fin scan, which is how we operate the motorhome. I'm going to show you about the diesel heater and also the fridge. So starting up on the fin scan up here. So this is all touch screen. So we're just going to go through the menus. So the home screen, which is where we're sitting at the moment, is where we can see our house battery. So here you can see it's sitting at 100% charge and you can actually see the voltage here of 14.5. So again, really important to make sure that this battery remains fully charged and over 12 volts. Also on this home screen is a shutdown button. So you push that when you want to shut everything down in the motorhome and we'll come back to that after we've been through all the menus. So when the next one you come along to is the lights. So as you can see, they're, they're just greyed out like that. So the lights are over two banks. So by pushing these buttons, you can see the orange circles light up, that means that they're on. And then everything has its own individual switches, so it's like your master lights. The second one we come along to is power. So in here are various things. So the first one over here is water, so that's water pump. So that's now you can use your taps and your shower. Oven, obviously you need to turn that one on, now we can light the oven. So entertainment, what falls under entertainment is the stereo and the TV. Draw locks, so at the moment when there's no colours on there, the drawers will open. However for travel, you should always have your draw locks on and now obviously the drawers cannot open. So ACC, so by turning ACC on that activates all your USB ports. And if you have internet, then that's wired up through there as well. I'm just going to turn the stereo off because that's turned on because we put the entertainment on. Yeah, so ACC is for all your USBs. Now for the hot water, so in a trail light you can run your hot water off gas or 240. So if you want hot water gas, then you're going to push it here on the fin scan and now your hot water is going to light on gas. However, if you're at a campsite or at home on 240, you open up the cupboard here and you find the main switches inside the cupboard here. And there's a button called HWS. So that's hot water cylinder mains. So when you want hot water on mains, you simply switch that switch there on. These other switches, you just leave these ones on all the time. Charge, that charges your battery, and fridge is your mains. Then if we select the next one across, which is called battery, then we can look at more detail on our battery. So obviously this is the same as the home screen. It's got our house battery showing its charge and its volts. You can also look at your start battery, so the truck battery, and see where that's sitting and a little bit more detail on your house battery over here showing the charge and the discharge. So the charge and the discharge is what's coming in obviously by solar or driving or plugged in and discharge what you're using as in lights, TV etc. Then the final one on the very end is the tank. So underneath this motorhome you've got two tanks, you've got a fresh water and a grey water. So when you push this tanks button, it's not an instant reading, you need to wait while it's reading the tanks. So we should see shortly when that writing goes away. So you've got your fresh tank over here, which is half, and your grey. So that's for monitoring your tanks. So once you've got everything on and now you can use the motorhome, then when you go to leave and when you get back home, you can, instead of going through each icon and turning them all off, if you just push the shutdown, that shuts everything down for you. And that is the FinScan control panel. So moving on to the diesel heater, which is over here. So our trial lights, we fit diesel heaters. Um, they're nice, they're efficient, they're quiet, um, and they use the diesel from your truck engine. So to turn the diesel heater on, you simply push this button over here, the little light comes on and it says on, and then you use the arrow buttons on each side to control the temperature up and down. Okay, so you can turn the temperature down through here and up and that'll just start itself. It takes a while to start up and shut down so just be patient. 
Then to turn it back off, you just push the same button to turn it off. So this diesel heater also has a fan in it. It's not a cooling fan, but it'll just blow air or circulate air around. So if you just want the fan to circulate a bit of air, then you just push this button here and air will circulate around the vents. And then simply turn that off again. So that's as simple as the diesel heater is. Moving along to the fridge and the freezer. So to open the fridge and freezer, there's little buttons that you just need to push down to open. Push up to open the freezer. So here's our main controls for the Dometic fridge. So this one here obviously is our main on button. So this fridge is a three-way fridge with an automatic setting. So we can run this fridge off 240 mains, off gas, and off the battery when we're driving, but we also have an automatic function. Now if we select A, it will automatically choose what we're doing, but you can also make manual selections of what you wish just by pushing the buttons. But A is always a good option. Obviously you can't run your battery, your fridge off the battery, um, that's only when you travel. This button here is for controlling the temperature inside your fridge. So fully have it on full when you're cooling it and then do bring it down to about three or four bars. Now if this fridge has an error, then this button here, which has a triangle with an exclamation mark in it, will flash and beep if there's an error. So say if you run out of gas or you're not plugged in or you're trying to run it off your battery, it will alarm you that there's a, there's a problem. So basically you just come along, fix that problem and everything should be fine. However, if it has multiple errors and you've fixed the problem and it's still giving you a fault signal, you can do a reset on these fridges to wipe away all the errors. And you simply do that by holding down this button for five seconds and then finger off. Then you turn it off and back on again and it should erase the errors and then it can start from fresh. And that is the conclusion of the fin scan, the diesel heater and the Dometic fridge in the Trail Light motorhome. Any questions? Call our service centre.